Hi, my loves. How are you? It's Michelle from Divine's Purpose. I was called on to do a reading for Divine Masculines. Now, first and foremost, I have a cold. So my voice is weird, but I am being obedient and following spirit as I hope all of you are. So if you follow me on Instagram, I just posted a beautiful video in regards to maternal love, in regards to twin souls with Mother Mary and Jesus. You know, as twin flames, we are here under Christ consciousness, which is a level of consciousness, yes. But there's a lot of divine feminines that I speak to, I think over a dozen in the last three months, have told me that, you know, they relate to their divine masculine and they feel like they're mothering them or they have that type of maternal love. Now, I have to tell you, even on my own journey, I totally resonate. Like, my twin used to tell me that I remind him of his mother and then that also led on a lot of female wounds and um, toxicity, right? So I'm on here to give you guys an energy update for Divine Masculines as today is January 13th in Canada. The 13th represents the Rebirth Death card. So a lot of karmic energy is coming up right now. Um, and also to understand that, you know, Divine Masculines, it's you're being called for to stop playing small and really honor your divinity. So if you are a Divine Feminine cross watching for this video, amazing. I'm sure there's something that you can resonate with or learn. And Divine Masculines, if you are watching, this is just for you because the thing is, you know, you have to understand that there is this Divine Mother within all of us and that is what's being called for. Now, if you haven't seen the video that I'm talking about, my Instagram account is in the link below. Just click it, follow me. I do a lot of energy updates there. Um, and it's by Michael Murdad, who's been a spiritual healer for I think about 20 to 30 years. I really love his content. I love his teaching. He's very, very on point, okay? Um, so let's get it started. I'm using two of my decks. One is gonna be the Mermaid Oracles, which was really shocking, but that's what Spirit told me to bring out. And then I'm gonna use the Keepers of the Light, okay? So Divine Masculines, please understand that, you know, when I'm talking to you, this is nothing about giving you a hard time. This is honestly realizing that the Divine Mother holds sacred space for you no matter what. And the sacred space of true love, because true love never dies. Um, so this is what this energy is for you. But this is also a little bit of a tougher love video because you're being called forward and it's stop, stop playing small. So I have five cards here that is equals change and the first one that I saw was sacrifice but before I do that spirit is guiding me to give you this which is soul cage um, this is a very strong energy rescue escape from captivity and restriction you know a lot of people have been in this energy it's understanding the fragmented place of their soul your soul has been locked up in a cage through the programming and the illusions of the 3d reality so Sorry about that. So this is really telling me where Divine Masculines are, okay? So this is understanding that stuck feeling. And then we have number 11, Sacrifice. There are those worth making. There are those that will destroy you, you know, and you can see that she has like a serpent tail. You know, this is really understanding the sacrifice that we have to do or what we have to go through as a twin. I'm sure a lot of Divine Masculines, I bet you any money, you feel that energy very strongly. Um, the thing is, this is the energy that's coming through as the Divine Mother, because the Divine Mother knows the things that go on behind the scenes, right? So this energy has to also do with vulnerability, opening up your heart, allowing yourself to be tender. So you are healing the mother wounding at this time. So why this message is so important, it's because it's asking you to come forward as the Divine Masculine. You see how the masculine figure here is holding the female up here. It's because you're honoring the vulnerability through this mother wounding. So if you are in a moment right now that you feel that there is a lot of feminine energy that triggers you, especially your actual mother, or even your Divine Feminine because she does reflect that, also just a little heads up Divine Masculines, a lot of your Divine Feminines were 
um, a mother in your past life you know not all twins have to be romantic you know in this life you might be which I can relate to but in past life you know it wasn't it was a twin flame journey twin soul for you to both agree to do work here on this earth to raise up consciousness right so right now the message is for you is really keep going and have a time out okay I wanted to let you know that this full moon that just passed um, the wolf moon was a really big initiation for you appreciate and enjoy the lunar lights and cycles and the moon is a female energy so it is opening up a lot of wounds a lot of shadows but you have the guidance here spirit saying keep going keep going for it do not go back it's really time for you to stop playing small and stop stop trying to be what you are not and you know it's the time for you to really honor your divinity and really understand who you are and what your role is as a divine masculine okay so also a lot of you are probably being called to be a hermit which is a really big energy right now but this is time out so awareness contemplation solitude time alone this is needed for your spiritual growth and healing um you need to really sit still listen and in north america it's winter right now unfortunately i miss bali however it's good it's a good time for a divine masculines for you guys to really sit still and really contemplate this energy now remember spirituality guys is really leveling up in consciousness and healing is 50 percent of spirituality so if you're just love and light all day and you pretend that everything's okay without doing the work unfortunately you're not really doing any good for anybody especially yourself so please understand that if this energy is triggering you if this energy resonates with you if you do have mother healing or you do have toxicity in your life that has to do with feminine energy there's definitely something here that you need to do healing on which is shadow work that's what i specialize in so if you are interested in it please let me know saint germain karma releasing move beyond drama create your own path make room for good energy karma you know Karma energy is really strong right now in the collective, and this is it releasing, you know. This is understanding that you must move forward, and the karmic energy is here through past lives. Because if any abundance is here, Lord Ganesh, obstacles are being removed, spiritual support and connections are increasing. You are divinely guided in this energy, divine masculines, okay? Trust me when I tell you, this is about clearing karma, not only for you and your family. Connect to your lineage, a family wound and pattern is being healed now can't play can't play can't play i'm going to ask for one more and then i'm going to wrap it up oh yes okay pause i got two but i'm happy this came out because this is exactly what i felt like was here awakening presence the universe is with you wear a cloak of protection and love so this is your guidance and this is your protection but this is the energy that i want to talk to you guys about the holy spirit expect miracles remember that only love is real miracles will occur naturally spirit has your back this is the energy of the divine mother this is the energy of Christ consciousness. This is understanding your journey. This is understanding that you are love and you are powerful in that energy. But you really have to understand that love is real. This is understanding the ego that is healing um, and releasing. <coughs> Sorry, that's not cute, but. And also maybe clearing of the throat chakra, communication, if that's what, maybe that's why I coughed. Um, but remember only love is real miracles will occur spirit has your back so this is really understanding that you know the divine mother energy is with you right now divine masculines and you're being called to really dig deep and heal and really stop hiding from who you really are okay so much love and blessings to you